a few people. So this is the, the main home screen. So you can see it has a lot of the standard pre-installed apps that you'd expect in a smartphone. Uh, email and contacts and calendar. Uh, some interesting, nice touches, you know, particularly in many of the markets that we're going into. The social is really important, so we've actually added quite a bit of social integration into the uh, into the OS, and so I actually am able to import all of the Facebook information from my friends into my phone. I can actually interact with Facebook right from my contacts directory. Uh, other nice uh, elements to it, you know, the mapping app application comes in, and like all good maps, it has to work offline. And so you're actually able to save your map to an offline experience, so if you lose your internet connection, particularly in emerging markets, you might come on and off Wi-Fi, you might be trying to really conserve data. Uh, and so being able to actually uh, pull map data to an offline experience, it has all sorts of uh, transit information built into it. Again, really focused, the, the, the Kia Here team focused on emerging markets, so one of the world leaders in that. Uh, a lot of the different capabilities, we talked about the uh, Mozilla Marketplace, which is the go-to place for HTML5-based applications. So all of the applications in this marketplace were created by developers in HTML5. They can sell them through our marketplace, or if they choose, they can, they can issue them directly to consumers. They don't have to go through Mozilla. Mozilla is not a gatekeeper. We have a marketplace which makes that easier, uh, but a developer could also issue an app from their website, and a customer could just browse to that website, click on the link, and install that developer's app right on their phone. And the other really interesting way to get applications on your phone is something we call dynamic app search, where I can go ahead and actually enter in a search term and get a return of really great web content that's packaged up just like apps. And it actually customizes the phone experience. So I've, I've entered in my favorite band, U2. It's going to customize the phone to look like a U2-based phone. It brings up a whole bunch of apps. Uh, of all different types, ticketing apps, music apps, uh, information, research. Uh, and if I like any of these apps, I can launch them, play them once, uh, and see what they look like. We can do uh, Rolling Stone. Uh, and I can launch the app if I like it. I can read the content once. Maybe I never want to read Rolling Stone again. I just wanted to look up one article about U2. Uh, I can do that. Or if I really do like it and I want to keep the Rolling Stone app, I can hold down. On it, I can actually add that as an app to my phone. And now, when I return to my main home screen, you can see the Rolling Stone app has actually been installed permanently on my phone, so I can use it over and over again. So, it's this idea of dynamic app search. You can search the web, pull in the best app content from everything across the web in app format. I can use it once, which is what a lot of people do with apps. Or, if I really like it, save it and keep it, just like on a smartphone you know today. And that's Firefox OS.